Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hub and I'm Penge and welcome to Outlanders, which is a town building strategy game where the focus is on the people in your little town. They've got their own likes and dislikes, their own dreams and goals, and we have to make sure that they're all having a lovely happy time in the town, but we don't control the people directly. We don't click on them and say, right, you go here, you go there, you work in that place. We build the town for them, we build things around them, and they sort everything else out between themselves. They choose where to go and live and work and all that kind of stuff which does sound quite wonderful. It sounds a little bit less micromanagey than other town builders, which I do like the sound of. Also, as well, there's no war. There's no conflict. Nobody is going to come along and try to stabby stabby us so we can just work away as we like in peace to complete each level, which also does sound very, very lovely indeed. So I think, without any further ado, we should dive right in. Let's go and get building. So the first part of the campaign is called Shipwrecked, and I do like how the game has a story going on in the campaign to explain what we're doing and why we're doing it and what's going on because some games do have a campaign mode but you complete level one of the campaign and then you go to level two and that's kind of it there's no link there's no narrative going on you just go to the next level because that's how numbers work this has got a bit of a tale going on and we find out why we are where we are and what's going on and all that kind of stuff so here we go we begin with shipwrecked so there's fjord there a natural leader her confident attitude won her a few fans so she took a ship and sailed off with them to build a new New town somewhere in the outlands however it looks like maybe things have gone a little bit wrong because i assume that's the ship that we sailed away on and i'm not very good at boating but one thing i do know is that with a boat you want the majority of the water outside of the boat not inside of it i suspect maybe that boat has got a few holes in it that shouldn't be there so our mission is to make 40 planks to build a new ship to replace the broken ship just there and then the optional goal is to have all of our followers housed yeah okay they seem like nice clear straightforward goals let's go and see how we get on okay here we go and it looks like we might have a time limit to complete this particular level because it says here we're stuck on this small island we need to build a new ship and keep everyone safe quickly i don't like the look of that storm on the horizon and we have a limit of 30 days okay so we've got 30 days to make 40 planks to build a new ship and then maybe if we can get everybody in a house as well because there is a bit of a nasty storm on the way okay right let's give that a go shall we so first things first is spacebar pause I can happily confirm that yes, spacebar is pause. Wonderful job, well done game. So what do we have going on? Let's go and have a look. It's really pretty. It's really pretty to look at. It's a little bit like if you were in the Wind Waker and you had a kind of village building tool. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, if people remember that game. It's a little bit like that. It's like you can go to the Wind Waker islands and build the towns and such like. It's really, really pretty. So we have ourselves, what's that there? That's Fjorda's house. Okay, so that's the boss's house with a very exciting kind of high up kind of thing on the roof there. What is that? Why have they got that? Is that like a gathering point or something? So people can always see that. But okay, got something being built out there. Drakkar. Oh, that's where the boat is being put together. Okay, so that's where we need to get various planks. Okay, so there's a build site there. Got a little kind of resource gathering zone there. We've got ourselves a forager's hut there. So we can gather up some food, which is good. And then over here, that's a house. I think that's also a house. And over there, we have a builder's house. Okay. Is that it? Is that all we have? Or is it? Hang on, hang on. Is there something there? There's something just there. Hang on a minute. Again, with a very tall kind of thing sticking out of it. That's very high up. That is a forager. So, oh, okay. Two forager huts. So one over there, that side. One over there, that side. So hopefully we should be okay for food because we have two lots of people doing foraging. Okay, that's fine. So what do we have up here then? So I assume that's food. That's, I assume, wooden planks. That might be stone. Uh, oh, no, hang on. That's food. We have 11 food. I assume that's stone. I assume that's wood. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, so we've got six lots of whatever that might be, although I don't quite know what it is, but okay. And we've got housing for eight people. We've got four people, I think. And then six, what does that mean? Six families? I remember that means six work ah, six adults and four children. And that would make sense because I can see there are children over here. Okay, so there's at least two there and there must be a couple of others. There's one over there. I don't know where the other one is, but I'm sure they're around somewhere. So six actual adult workers, four kids and housing for eight people, I assume, in those two things there. So do we need to build another house? Does that mean we have homeless people going on? 
I suspect possibly another house would be quite good. But then let's go and have a look at the people, shall we? So let's click on you. So here we have Georg, Georg, George, but without the J on the end, 30 years old, lives a life to the fullest, tomorrow could be too late. And they are having a sudden realisation. Oh my goodness me, George is having some sort of existential crisis going on. Am I real? Or am I some sort of character in some sort of game, George is thinking. Okay, so food, they're completely fine for food. For happiness, they've got, what, three out of the five bars filled up. So they, yeah, they're okay with life. They're sort of jolly, if not delighted, but they could be happier. So, okay, that's quite good to know. And then we'll click on you as well. So Katerin there, 32 years old, a lot smarter than she thinks she is, digesting a juicy piece of gossip. Okay, and again, food looking good. Happiness is looking okay. It could be better. Let's go and have a look at you. You're also digesting a juicy piece of gossip. Maybe you and uh, Katrin have been chatting. So that is Sif, 28 years old. Favourite colour? Magic Hour. Oh, I like Magic Hour too. Golden Hour is lovely. Um, okay, Astrid, 31. Loves cooking and is really good at it. Oh, everyone's gossiping. There's a lot of gossiping going on. Oh, and Olaf's having a realisation as well. But his your mama jokes are getting old. <laughs> they never get old, Olaf. Don't you worry about that. Um, okay, right. So I think maybe to begin with, we should build another house just to make sure that everybody's got somewhere to live. So hang on a second. So to build a modest house that can hold four people, we need 15 hours, I think it says in the bottom left corner, and six of whatever those things are. I don't quite know what, what is that resort. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, is that, they're planks. Maybe that's just like raw wood, like lumber or something that's not turned into proper planks. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. But we can build a lovely modest house. We'll turn it round. Um, let's put, do you know what? We'll put it there in between the other two and there can be a little sort of community. Oh no, we can't put it there because the game is saying no. Okay, we're not going to put it there because the game doesn't like that. Let's put it, Let's put it there, look. Like that, look. So drop that in, confirm that. And then at some point, if we unpause time, some people should run along and get building. There's a builder's place. Yeah, you've got one person. Oh, Catherine works there. Okay, that's fine. So Catherine is working as a builder. And then we've got Sif as a forager. And then through the trees, we have Astrid as a forager. Okay, so why don't we assign another worker to this? So we just say, yep, yeah, okay, I'd like another worker. And somebody will come along. Okay, so Olaf has come along. Olaf went, you know what? I like the sound of that. I want to go do some gathering, please. I will get on with that. And now that's what they're doing. And we will have another buildy person as well. Oh, it's George or Georg having their existential crisis. Okay. Um, I don't know what they mean up in the corner. Oh, yeah, two... Ah, here we go. Two followers don't have a home. So, yeah, we did need to get another home put together. And a follower is unemployed. Okay, that's fine. We're going to sort that out in a second. We're going to sort the homelessness the homelessness problem out in a second. And then as well, I think what we do is we are going to need to get quite a lot of wood because we need to complete the boat over here. So I think maybe if we look at getting a lumberjack base or a lumberjack cabin. Okay, so we are going to need quite a lot of these. I think we need a lot of wood. So we need to, we need the sawmill that turns the logs into planks and we need planks to build the boat okay what's the difference between a lumberjack cabin and a lumberjack base okay so used to gather wood a useful resource ah okay yeah that green thing well the thing with the green background is wood i mean it could be so construed as like a, i don't know like a soda can or whatever from a distance but yeah if you squint a bit it looks a little bit like a log possibly so yes that is just your know, raw wood and I imagine, yeah, when it's been processed via the sawmill, we get planks out of it. Okay. So a lumberjack cabin takes one tree and turns it into three bits of wood. Whereas a lumberjack base does the same thing. I don't really understand what the difference is between the two. I don't know what the difference is. I'm a bit confused. Um, oh, a lumberjack base doesn't seem to cost any resources to build. Whereas that does, well, that cuts down trees from a larger area. Okay, so maybe that's a little bit better to do. So there's plenty of trees over there. So if we rotate that round so it's facing that way, if we just drop that in like that and say, yes, please get that done. Okay, we have, we have no, we have no wood. Okay, hang on, hang on. Can we cut down a tree without that? Resources, we've got no wood. 
Okay, can we just, can we gather one? Can we gather that? Oh no, if I made a bit of a boo-boo by building that house first and using up our wood supply, because now we have no wood to finish building this. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. I see what we might need to do there. Who are you over here? Oh, it's Fjorda, it's the leader. Oh, okay, just kind of creeping around in the dark with a lantern. Bit weird, but okay. So maybe to begin with, we need a lumberjack base. Okay, I see where we're going with this. So if we say pop that in, uh, where could that go? Can that sort of fit in that gap there? Um, or do we need it near there actually? Is it gonna interrupt the foragers? Possibly put it a little bit further away. So I know, let's locate that over there. Plenty of trees over there. And that doesn't require wood to construct, I do not believe. So hopefully, if we unpause time, I think maybe, do people work at night? I assume people don't work at night time, although we do have enough housing for everybody, which is very nice. Yay for the housing. Um, I assume, yeah, people are, you know, sort of you know, go to bed at night time and they don't rush about doing their jobs, which would make sense. There you go. Fjorda's gone back to her house. And then we just run time on overnight while everyone's asleep. It goes all very quick. Right, okay, so people have had a bit of food. You're doing some gathering. And then, yeah, okay, right over here, we are building a very basic lumberjack base. So not quite as good as a lumberjack house, but it's okay. Hang on, hang on. Why is that being flagged up as a problem? Um, oh, there's nothing nearby, that means. They've got no sort of mushrooms and berries or whatever to, to gather from that area. Okay, so what we can do in that situation, we can recycle the building. Now, I did do the tutorial, and it didn't cover that much stuff, but it did cover this. So, we'll get rid of that, and say, yeah, no point. You can't pick it up and move it, you have to recycle it, get a bit of wood back from that. And, um, yeah, so how about then, we get a couple of people working over there, and then I think possibly, if we get the chance, we get another forager hut. And, oh, there's loads over there. There's loads of stuff over there. Hang on a second. If we rotate that round so it's pointing that way. Um, okay, there is a tree in the way, possibly. Do we chop that down? There's plenty of stuff over there. So, yes, please, put that down just there, and that would be wonderful. Okay, right. So, we've got ourselves some wood coming in from over here now, because these two are going to chop some wood. Then we have to build another forager thing over there to make sure we have plenty of food going on. And then... We'll just you know, slowly but surely get some wood together, build the fancy lumberjack cabin rather than the lumberjack area, and then we can get a plankery in place, make some planks, and then we can get the boat underway. It's all going to be fun. It's going to be wonderful. Right, so here we go. What does that mean? Progress. Um, oh, there you go. We've completed the optional goal. Hooray. Everyone's got a place to go and live. That is wonderful. Now it's just the big goal that we need to get done right the forager hut has been taken apart that's wonderful but as you can see a day has already gone by already a day's gone by and we haven't done too much stuff really so we do need to get a little bit of a wriggle on around here um yeah okay we can't put any more people into there we have one person who does need a job but i think we should possibly wait until another building is constructed uh could they go and work over there possibly I think maybe they're going to run out of things to forage from over here as well. There's not too much left. Only a couple of bits across the sides there. And that's sort of it. I think a mushroom just grew under that tree, which is quite nice. Thank you, mushroom. Come here. You shall be lunch. Right. Okay. How are we doing for bits of wood? It looks like... Are we taking the wood? I think we might be taking... Ah, hang on. Hang on. Are we building this? Yes. We're building the lumberjack cabin. But once again, nighttime has rolled around quite quick and nobody's going to get it built. And also, food is looking a little bit dodgy. It's not running out, but it's looking a little bit lower than I would like it to be. Um, yeah, we need to get... Um, we've got to get that complete. We need to get that of the foraging thing complete because there's loads of food around there. They're going to be fun. Oh, look at that. You. Who are you? You just ate, you just ate a whole mushroom. Um, okay, Ida, 12 years old. Her head is full of lice. Oh, lovely. But she feels, and she feels bad from telling a lie. I mean, that's, yeah, that's good. At least you feel bad from telling a lie. You've learned an important lesson there. Um, you're good for food and you're very happy. But you're 12 years old. You're a child. Everything's wonderful. All these things are exciting and new to you. And you're out there playing with your friends. It's an amazing thing. So yeah, there you go. Right. We've completed that. So I think if we take a worker, in fact, can we just get rid of that? 
can we get rid of that lumberjack base and then have more people working other? yeah so recycle that please yeah get rid of that that's going to be fine and then we can put three people into here so we can gather a lot of wood and that means that when we have a lot of wood we'll build that thing eventually at some point today possibly that'd be nice and then we won't all starve to death and then when that's in place we then build the plankery place the sawmill or whatever it's called it should be called a plankery so we'll build a plankery and then we can finally get some uh, planks ready to go and build a lovely new boat right the forager hut is done so when that one runs out of things to forage we shall put somebody over there yeah you're running out of food uh, yeah you're not joking game you're not joking hang on hang on could we take away a builder take away a builder and put somebody over there oh hang on They've already assigned themselves over there. Well done. That is very, very efficient. I like how the leader goes around with the little sort of lantern, just checking on things. Just, you know, it gets a bit late. They go out and make sure everyone's okay. And they're up first in the morning, making sure people are sort of pretty good and stuff. That's quite nice. Right, okay, so we do have another forager over here now. So they should be gathering a lot of food. And they're gathering food as well. So, okay, that's good. We're running out of food. I know, game. <laughs> We're okay. We're going to muddle through game and it's it's going to be fine. Chopping down plenty of trees, which is okay. Lots of wood coming in. So we now have 14 wood. Okay, so I think we can now afford to get in the sawmill. The thing is, where is it going to go? If they're going to take the stuff to that little kind of storage thing, maybe it would make sense to put it sort of here. Hang on, turn it round. So they can take it from the stores into the sawmill nice and quick. So let's drop this sawmill in just there. Yes, please. Um, right, we have no food at all. That, that's that's bad. That's a bad thing. Right, take away a woodcutting person and put them into the land of foraging, please. We need many foragers to go out and forage much in the way of food. And in fact, that one is a bit rubbish, isn't it? So recycle that place, get rid of that, and then they can also go and work in there because there's plenty of food over there where that forager camp is and that thing can be turned into wood and we can use that to do other stuff right okay move time on quick i'm aware that people might not be their happiest right now although although happiness is currently 100 percent which is very good happy about that i'm surprised other people get grumpy due to a lack of food but no people seem to be quite happy with what's going on right now in our little kind of tiny settlement but okay that's fine they'll muddle through yeah i do like the buildings they're really pretty. Look at that. Kind of like cell shaded, lovely, arty buildings. That one's got some nice flowers around it. They've kind of got... It looks a little bit sort of Viking-esque, doesn't it? I have a feeling that this is going to go based on so your Viking styling and stuff. On the roof there, they've got that kind of thing. Looks a bit like a longbow. They've got the kind of you know, shield with the cross axes behind it and such. So it does look kind of you know, Viking-y, I suppose. But uh, yeah, okay, this is fine. So how are we doing with that? Is that ready to be built? Yes, it is. And our worker is working. Right, prioritise that, please. Make that important. There's some birds. Hello, birds. Right, move time on quick. We're only on day six, so we're going to be fine. We can muddle through with this. Um, we are... Ah, there you go. Food is coming in. Food is looking pretty good. Okay, that's very good news as well. And I think it looks like... Yes, they've completed one build phase of the sawmill. And it's not looking like a great big pile of logs anymore. It's got a bit of structure to it, which is very good indeed. But okay, they're not going to do anything right now. So um, yeah, wait until the morning. We'll see what they get up to. There is only one food left again. There are lots of berries over there. I assume we're gathering those. Oh, there's loads of food over there, look. There's plenty of mushrooms over there, but there's a lot of food over there. So in not too long, I think we will have topped the food up. Uh, yeah, do you want to... Hang on. I thought we said get rid of the... Hang on. Did I not confirm? Hang on. Recycle the forager hut? Yes. I, th I thought we told them to do that. Maybe because they're building the sawmill, they didn't get round to doing the the demolishing of that thing, possibly. Okay, it looks like they're on it now, which is handy. So I think we've got 19... Hang on. What does it do? What does the sawmill do? So it takes one bit of wood and turns it into one plank. Okay, so what we could do is, I think we have one less person working over there, and then we have another person in here. Um, a follower is unemployed. Who's unemployed? 
Which one of you is unemployed? Um, housing tip. There are no more places to live. Uh, followers need more... I think that... We've got, no, we've got that sorted. Housing is fine, game. Housing is okay. That must have been an old tip from the start that we should have read earlier. Um, yeah, okay. Who's unemployed? Ida's unemployed. Okay, so Ida, what would you like to do? Two people in there. Only one person. Okay, right. So Ida, go and chop down some trees. Okay, now I think we should have everything kind of okay. One builder. We've got three people foraging. So they should bring back a lot of food. We've got two people making planks and two people chopping down trees to produce logs. A baby was born. Oh, that's lovely. Elsa, zero years old, never wants to grow up, calming down from a sugar rush, tired but unable to stop playing. They're only zero years old. Good grief. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, a new, a new person has joined our little settlement. That's very exciting. Okay, so how are we looking down here then? Um, we've got three planks in there and we need 40. Four planks out of 40. So what's that? 10% of the way there. So we are slowly but surely getting that sorted. It's just going to take quite a long time now. But we do have all the things in place. We're cutting down trees to make the logs. We're turning the logs into planks. The planks are going over here. We've now got seven out of 40 flying through with that. And we've got some food gathering over there, which I think at the moment is pretty much getting us by. We're scraping by with that. Why is that jingly jangling? Food is getting scarce. Um, yeah, okay. No, we know that game. That's fine. So, um, yeah, I think we had nine food at one point and we have to feed well, actually 11 people because, of course, the baby. So, okay. Um, two kids. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Two kids grew into adults. Okay, so we've now got two more people in the workforce. Wonderful. Add a worker to the forager hut just there and possibly... Do we build another forager hut, say, over here somewhere? Um, oh, yeah, that's that's quite a good spot. Just there's pretty good because that gets a lot of those berries over there that the other one doesn't pick up on. So do you know what? Yeah, if we put that there, that's going to gather a lot of things. Right, and prioritize that, please, buildy person. So get that done. And then we can assign the other sort of child that's grown up into an adult to that and then they can get some more food. And our food should be okay. Possibly. Maybe. It's not looking great. But yeah, we'll muddle through that, I'm sure. Oh, and look at that. We now have over half the planks we need to make ourselves a shiny new boat. Okay, that's very good indeed. Called the Drakkar. Very exciting. Very dramatic name. So 22 out of 40. But it is going quite slow. We're on day 13 out of 30. I think we might be okay, though. I think we might be okay. I'd like to think that maybe by day 20... That should be okay. That should be sorted. How are we looking for food over here? Is there much over there to scavenge? Yes, there is. Over here, there's loads over there. There's absolutely loads over there. So maybe what we do is we undo one out of there and we put another one into there. So Casper just moves from working in that forager place to working in that forager place. Still doing the same job. That's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, we have got a lot of food. Right, a baby was born... Three followers don't have a home. Uh, we've got 15 people. Hang on a minute. Didn't we have 11 not too long ago? Okay, right. We need another house because we've failed that goal now. Oh, okay. We've got 17 days left to actually complete the main thing itself. Um, okay, that's fine. We can build another house. That's okay. It's only six logs. We've got plenty of logs around the place. So, um, yeah, do you know what? We'll put it... We'll put it just there, I think. That's quite a nice place for it. It's still near everybody else. Nice sense of community with that one. So, um, yeah, okay. Get that built then, please. And I'd like to think that the builder should be on that pretty much straight away. We have got a build. Yeah, Catherine the builder doesn't really have anything else to do at the moment, I wouldn't think. So, yeah, that's quite good. They can just get over there and get on with that nice and quick. How are we looking down here? 28 out of 40. Okay, so we are slowly but surely getting there. We've uh, yeah, got Janna and Astrid making the planks, which is very good. Another day finishes. And then we see Fjord out there. You're first up, first to rise. Chicken things are okay for the little settlement. That's quite good. So, um, yeah, let's get that house done, please. Can we please work on that? Can we prioritise that? Where's our builder? Where's Katrin? Katrin, what are you doing? You are moving. Oh, they're moving planks. 
Okay, well now I've prioritised that house, so you should get on with building that house. But another day has already come and gone. Time flies, doesn't it? But here we go. And you've gone all over there to eat a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> Are you eating these raw? I do apologise. At some point in the future, we'll develop some sort of cooking technology. And you could have, say, yeah, a warmed up mushroom. But uh, okay. Okay, right. At the moment, they're eating raw mushrooms while sitting on the floor. That's fine. And yeah, look. We've got Ronja there, two years old, who hasn't got a house. Her brother is the bravest. Oh, that's adorable. Coming down from a sugar rush. But yeah, your happiness isn't particularly great right now. Oh, crikey. Got 16 people. We need another house. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> um, another house. That could go. I don't think everything has to be connected to roads and such. I'm fairly sure it doesn't. Um, however, we'll pop that there. So yes, please. Um, and then, yeah, what's that road? So yeah, if we could... Just put a little road sort of round like that. Maybe to the stockpile. That would be quite handy. But yeah, if we could get that one house done first, that would be amazing. I think they are working on it. 47%, 53%. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. That forager hut is completely empty. So recycle that, please. And then we need to build another one of those. So another forager hut. Um, ah, okay. Over there looks pretty good. Just there is a very good place to put one of those. Yeah, okay. We'll have one over there, please. Because, I mean, food's okay at the moment. But we've got a higher population now, so people are going to need more food. Okay, what's that? Windra. Two followers are unhappy. Okay, so Matilda is unhappy. She's two years old, and she never wants to grow up. And she's hiding from her mum. <laughs> I mean, you're two years old. You could be unhappy for one of many reasons. Somebody said no to you. You didn't get to have, you know, I don't know, a big bit of cake or something. Um, okay, I'm not so bothered about that. And you're hiding from your mum, but you're a little bit sad. Who else do we have? Who else is unhappy? Um, and Marcus, who's also two years old, his first word was leader. Okay, a bit showing off a bit, Marcus. Um, yeah, you're not happy either. I assume it's because you're sleeping outside. Because we've taken a very long time to build a house. But we're working on it. We're working on it. We're trying to get housing and such like sorted. But we've got to balance housing and food and building a new exciting shiny boat so we can get away from here before a storm hits and we all die. So, you know, it's quite tricky. It's a tricky old balance to get done. But one house is done. Okay. So I think at the moment, uh, I know 16, right, we're housing the exact amount of people that we have. But at some point, somebody's going to have a child. There's going to be stork letter writing going on. So there will be another baby born. So we're going to have to have another house. That's okay. Stockpile tip. Try building stockpiles right next to resource generating buildings. It's super efficient. Um, okay, I think we're okay for now. We're okay for now. How are we doing? 34 out of 40. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. But yeah, I would like to make sure everybody does have a house. Um, yeah, running out of food. Have we built the new thing yet? Can we prioritise that, please? Because we are running out of... Oh, hang on a minute. We can put some more people in there, can't we? So two more people can work in there. So we get more food from this stockpile, uh, from that gathering hut. So that'll be quite handy. But yeah, we have gone through our food quite quick. Although, it looks like maybe we can go over and build this. Yeah, there we go. Right, so put everybody else into here. Gather more food, please. So, um, hang on a second. Yeah, right, everyone we can get... Chuck them into there, please. And our baby was born. Okay, right, there we go. We knew it was going to happen. Right, please uh, get that house underway. We've got 36 out of... How many? Hang on. Hang on. We've got, we've got loads and loads of planks in the stockpile. They're just not over here because they haven't moved them over yet. Maybe we say, okay, we're, we're, done for, we're done for planks for now. Can we please get more people doing more gathering of food? That would be amazing. Yeah, can we go and do that? Maybe another builder? Would that hurt? I don't think it would. If we could sort that out, that would be amazing. But okay, right. So we don't need more planks right now. So we're okay for planks. The plankery can close its doors momentarily. Um, yeah, food is an issue. And we need somebody who needs a house. Okay, but that's fine. So Vera. Vera is one year old and they eat worms. 
Okay, don't go there, Vera. What are you doing out there on your own? That's very dangerous. Come back this way immediately, Vera. We're building you a house, okay? Given that wood is now not quite as important as food, maybe we should get one less person working over there chopping down trees and maybe get more people into our food gathering things. Yeah, there's space there. A position is available. So I'd like to think, did they fill that? Did they go and fill that? I'm now not entirely convinced they did go and fill that. Oh no, maybe they went and did the um, builder job instead. Okay, that's fine, because also, we do want to get that done. We do want them to build that house there. Uh, how are we looking? 73% of the way through. Can we just hurry up a little bit? 73, 8, so 93. Okay, right. We have ourselves another modest house in place, which means everybody's got somewhere to live. And we've even got, what, three housing capacity extra. So three people can wash up on the shore or three babies can be born or whatever. Okay, food is looking pretty good. And now we've got two people moving the stuff over here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that the final plank we need to build the boat? That Yes. Okay. We have all of the planks we need to actually get the boat put together. And I think, who are you? Who's that? Katerin, our wonderful builder, is actually getting on with building the new boat. Okay, they're all of 3% of the way through, but it's better than no percent. And look, children are coming along to look at what's happening. That one's, I don't know, playing in the dirt. Do you eat dirt? Um, Jana's four years old. Their favourite insult... <laughs> you can read the favourite insult for yourself, folks. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. That's a good insult. It's a very good insult. I like that. That's a good insult. <laughs> you can't go around calling people that. You get in trouble. Right, okay, here we go. So, fly through time. Um, I think everything is pretty much sorted. It's now just going to be a case of waiting for waiting for them to build the ship. All the resources are in. 12% of the way through. It's going to take a long time to get that complete, I think. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. That is... Ah, they've cut down all of the trees within their area. Okay, recycle that then. We don't need that anymore. And then I think that means... Yeah, we've got more people gathering food, which is what we need. We need more people gathering food. Oh, hang on. Two builders are on it now. Oh, it's flying up. It's flying up. They've put the you know, the side bits of the boat on and the front bits and the, you know, the top bit and the very important bottom bit, which doesn't need to be full of water. So yeah, that's good. So right, okay, 62%. This is wonderful. Won't get it done today. It's not going to finish today, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting it to be done today. So I think maybe possibly by the end of tomorrow that might be done. So maybe by the end of day 22, I would say definitely by the end of day 24, no, by the end of day 23, sorry, that'll be finished. That'll definitely be sorted because already they're over here bright and early working on it 72, 73, 75. And when we could, we could hurry it along a bit more, take somebody away from something else and put them into the buildy place. But it looks like these two have got it covered. 98. There we go. Fjord's new ship. Optional, uh, yeah, objectives complete. We finished building the thing. There we go. We completed the main mission and we completed the optional goal as well. Hooray. So you can continue playing on this level or we can carry on and see what the game has for us next. So do you know what? Yeah, let's see what we do next. So there's the little boat. Oh, look, the children are parting. Oh, everyone's very happy. Yay. <laughs> right. Okay. Try not to crash this one because it took quite a lot of effort to build that boat. Watch out for the rocks, the big rocks everywhere. Thanks to everyone's hard work, we built a strong ship right in time. The storm won't catch us now. Okay, so it took 22 days and 34 minutes and two seconds of play time, but of course some of that was sped up, I think, so I don't know if that counts, but yep, yeah, okay, right, go to the next level. Let's see what we've got to do. Ah, right, okay, I think I see what's going on here. So what I think is happening is that we're now going to play as a completely different character. So we just played as Fjord, were they called? And of course she built a boat, they crashed the boat, we built them a new boat, and now they're back on the sea doing some more oceany adventuring. But now we're going to step away from them, and we're going to play as this person here with the amazing hat and the cloak, and the very exciting, dramatic kind of posing stance going on. And then we play as them for a bit, and then maybe on the next level in the campaign, we play as another different character with their own story going on and such like. And then eventually as we play, I imagine all the different stories combine into one, and they kind of weave together, and then you get this little lovely kind of narrative hole going on, which is very good. So at the moment, we've got to kind of hope that Fjorda, or whatever she was called on the previous level, just manages to leave the boaty people to somewhere else. And then, yes, we've got this person here to take control of. Red Ripe Birthday. 
My birthday is coming up. Let's fill the town with food, people and laughter. Pay no mind to the storm on the horizon. It's just a passing cloud. Okay, so already this tale and the previous one are linked because in the previous level, we had to kind of run away from the storm. Whereas here he is going, yeah, don't worry about it. It's just a passing cloud, not too fussed. Okay, right, so 45 days to complete this. We've got to have three farms and 50 tomatoes in stock. Yeah, there you go. That's how you celebrate your birthday with 50 tomatoes, rock and roll. And then optional goal is to have at least 20 followers and 90% happiness. Okay, right, they both seem quite achievable things. So let's go and see what we've got. Ah, right, we've unlocked a little farm, lets your followers work on nearby fields. And we've unlocked a tomato field. Okay, place it near a farm to grow tomatoes. That's kind of how that works. Okay, right, hang on, pause time for a second. So we've got enough housing for everybody at the moment. There's a little bit of food. We've got a tiny bit of wood and that's kind of it. Nobody's got any jobs assigned just yet. Um, okay, so what buildings do we have? We've got the builder house, one person in there. So Lauren works in there. Lauren's got on a very exciting hat. That's a good hat, Lauren, 32 years old, describes herself as a strictly social drinker. And again, she is digesting a juicy piece of gossip, lots of gossip going on. There's the big boss, oh, Gerald. He's called Gerald, that's an amazing name. A nice fellow, talented singer, and all round free spirit. He sees his followers as friends, as opposed to his brother, who says is a buzzkill. Okay, we don't want to meet Gerald's brother, Harold or something, but okay, I like Gerald. I like Gerald, Gerald's got style and he's got a hat on with a massive feather in it. And I approve of that, Gerald. I'm very jealous and very envious. Um, is that kind of it? Bit of storage there. Oh, hang on, what's that over there? Oh, that's Gerald's house. Okay. Have we not got any kind of functional buildings? How have you lot survived so far? There's a... Oh, what's that? There's kind of a... Oh, there's like a broken castle up on the hill over there. That's quite exciting. Okay, so plenty of space to kind of build into. I notice there's rocks over there. We're not doing kind of rock gathering just yet or whatever in the game, but okay. Um, right, so I think what we need is, we've got enough homes right now, we might need another one, but I think possibly what we do is, let, oh, hang on, there's different types of home. Modest house, nice house. Oh, okay. Takes a little bit more wood to build. No, no, takes the same amount of wood but it takes longer to build. Okay, um, I think maybe a lumberjack cabin would not be a bad start. Gather some more wood, that would be quite useful. And then possibly get some farm set up. Maybe over here, look, that looks quite good for farming. Nice and empty, that should be good. In fact, hang on a second. What we could do is, so over here, look, set up the lumberjack cabin. So the big lumberjack thing. So they can chop down lots of trees over in that area. So yes, please get that done. And then we will put a stockpile kind of over here. I think maybe, do you know what, just there would be okay. So zone that out as a stockpile. So I can take the wood and put it there without having to walk all the way down to here. So that'll sort that out. Um, and then, what have we got there? Forager hut and a farm and there's the fields. Okay. So maybe just to keep us going for food for now, because I don't think the tomatoes are going to grow instantly. We do need to get a forager hut in as well. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. Is that okay? Yeah, there looks pretty good. There's quite a lot coming from there. Um, although I can't see any bushes or anything. There's some bushes over there, but no berries on them just now, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so we'll put that there. So yes, please confirm that as well. And then for now, can we just get four builders on the case just so we can actually get all this stuff done? Because they're quite important things to get in. So we'll have a basic amount of food coming in and we can get some wood. Right, now what do we need to build a farm? What do we need? Right, so we need to get three bits of regular wood and six planks. Okay, so we are going to need a plankery in as well. So let's get the sawmill in. Just put that kind of over there out the way. It's fine. We'll pop that there. That's okay. The sawmill can just kind of go out of the way in the corner. Um, you know what? Because I do like a road. We'll drag a road in like that. That's fine. We'll just link that up. Right. Okay. So I think for now, that is plenty to be getting on with. We've not completed any of these goals at all. Yes, yeah, so I have at least 20 followers and 90% hap uh, happiness. So we've got, what, 12 followers right now. So we need another eight people to appear. That could be quite tricky to do, but okay, right, they've got plenty of jobs to do. 
So let's let them go and finish work on the first kind of steps. Here are the basic things we need to do to get up and running. Okay, the lumberjack cabin is in, and I think what we do is we assign at least another person to it. So two people, Richard and Ethan. Okay, Richard is 25 years old. He has to lock the door five times. That's okay, being very secure. And Ethan is 29, a compulsive talker. Avoid him at the tavern. We haven't got a tavern, so that won't be a problem. But okay, so two people now chopping down trees to make a lot more wood. Okay, right, that's a good start. Prioritise that, please. We need that building in so we can gather some food pretty quickly. So as soon as the day is done, hopefully, yeah, running out of food. I know, game. I know we're all over it, possibly. We're trying to get all over it. So people might be a little bit grumpy. Happiness, I was going to say it's coming down, but it's ticking up, actually. I assume because people are having a lovely night's sleep and they've got jobs and such like. So, okay, right, that's fine. Um, oh, Oh, they have to build the um, sort of um, storage pile things. They're not just a zoned out area. They actually make a specific thing. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right, so wood coming in. Useful. Right, forager hut is in. Let's get the sawmill put together. And then once that's done... Um, oh, crikey. Going to need some more wood for that. However, we do need to get some people over here. So maybe two less people building, please. And two more people foraging. Because at the moment, we have no food at all. <laughs> okay, we found a mushroom, I think. I think we found one mushroom, and that was kind of it. Uh, okay, right. So people are going to be very grumpy, I imagine, because they're going to be hungry. There goes Gerald, just you know, checking out his little domain, seeing what's going on. Your lantern's gone out, Gerald. Don't fall in the, don't fall in the river. That would be bad. Right, in you come. Round this way. Gerald goes to bed. Then the day goes by. Oh, okay, right. He's woken up very early. He doesn't sleep long, does Gerald. Right, so they need to make some more wood. And then as soon as they've done that, they're running out of food. I know, I know, game. We're completely running out of food. I'm aware of this. But if we just manage to get the sawmill in place, we can then start growing tomatoes and they'll make much in the way of lovely food and it should be glorious. But okay, right. The sawmill is done. So we need one person to go and work in the sawmill. So I think remove a worker from... How many builders have we got now? Two builders. How about remove a worker from there? So, Ethan, you can now go and work in the sawmill to make some planks. That's quite handy. We've got a decent amount of food at the moment, so people should be okay for food. What's that saying? Road tip. Roads increase your followers' walking speed. They will always prefer to walk on roads than on uneven terrain. And we're running out of food. Okay, now that's, again, that's fine. Running out of food is understood and it's an acceptable thing and we know it's going to happen. Um, everyone's got a house. Right, okay, so we should get some planks in soon. And there's a tiny bit of storage down there. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we make that stockpile a bit bigger, please? Because that stockpile is a little bit rubbish. Um, yeah, okay, so get that done. And then we need to think about farms. We need to think about where we're going to put our farms. I think over here does look pretty good. Um, yeah, how big are the... One thing we don't know is how big the fields are. So hang on, hang on. Pause time for a second. Rotate that round so we can fit into that gap quite nicely there. Look, that's quite a perfect fit into there. So pop that in like that. Yes, please. We shall have our very first farm. And then tomato fields just... Uh, hang on. Do we, just, do we just zone that out like that and put yes? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, we'll see how they deal with that in a bit. Um, they are moving some of the stuff over already. Oh, Gerald's coming over to inspect the uh, potential tomato field plot. Does it meet your expectations, sir? Have we dug it well? Is it in the right place? Does it look like it might grow some lovely, delicious tomatoes? I do not know, but okay, right. He got bored of that and he's gone to stare over there at a tree or something. But okay, fine. Thanks for popping by, Gerald. Right, so if we just hurry that on a bit. I'm a little bit concerned that very soon we're going to have to build a house. Oh, hang on a minute. We've already gone through all of the different foragey things. Oh, crikey. Okay. <laughs> Recycle that then, please. And then go back to... Uh, where is it? Here. Uh, forager hut. Might have to do some more foraging somewhere. There's plenty over there. There's loads over there. Right. Rebuild a forager hut just there, please. And, um, yeah, forage over there. Just to keep us ticking over until the farm is sorted. 
because the farm isn't quite ready yet. We need a few more planks to go into there. So we're not quite ready to get the farm in. So yeah, for the moment, we're going to rely on foraging quite heavily. Okay, the inevitable has happened and two babies have been born, which is good for us because it does get us closer to one of our optional goals. So to get uh, 20 followers, we've got what? 14 now so we are getting closer to that however it does mean that we need to build another house of course i think maybe let's go for a couple of nice houses so i'll have a nice house right there yes please that can hold six more people so that gets up to 18 and i think what we'll do is we shall have another nice house right opposite gerald's place if i know should we put it there let's put it there actually Pop it there. So we've got a little sort of housing, like a street down here coming along. And then at the top of the road, you've got Gerald in his fancy pants gigantic house. But okay, so that might take quite a long time to get done. And as well, given they're going to be working down here. Hang on, we need to prioritise a house. Uh, oh, hang on. No. Prioritise that first, because otherwise we're all going to starve to death. Okay, the new forager hut is up and running, so let's get some people into it very quickly, because otherwise we're going to starve to death. And uh, yeah, now they can take that one apart. Yeah, there you go. That one is being recycled. That's wonderful. A follower is hungry. I know, we are trying to get some food. We're trying to sort it out. It's going over here, look. I'm really sorry. Five people are hungry. I'm very sorry. It's not quite going entirely according to plan. Just you wait. When we have this done when we have this beautiful farm set up down here and we can have lots of lovely, lovely fields of tomatoes. It shall be glorious. But right now, yeah, we are going to struggle a little bit for food and also possibly housing as well because we haven't got that many people doing that much stuff. And it does take quite a long time to get things done. You know, like building a house. It's quite complicated. A kid grew into an adult. Okay, Joe what? Put you into the uh, buildy thing for now. That can be your first job. Go and do some building, please. Because we could do with things happening. Like, for example, the farm being completed. Which I think they are working on. They're working on that very, very quickly. Indeed. Okay, get this done, please. Get that done. Right, wonderful. Farm is sorted. Can we please now prioritise that house? Because that house is key. Because we have homeless people. And that's making people sad. Also, we have hungry people. We are putting lots of food over here. So if you would like to come over here and grab a bite to eat, that'd be okay. So 10 followers are still hungry. Can you, 9 are hungry. Can the hungry people not get priority on the food, please? That would make sense, wouldn't it? 6 followers, 5 people, 4 people hungry. Bother. Okay, still 4 people hungry. Okay, not good. Right, so take you, or take, remove a worker from there and put a worker into... Oh, Evelyn's gone right into the farm. Ah, okay. That is good. So Evelyn is now going to work on that field there where they can hopefully grow some lovely tomatoes running out of food. I know, okay. <laughs> We're always running out of food. It's one of those games where we always run out of food and we'll muddle through in the end. Another kid grew into an adult. Okay, so I think maybe we put them down here into the farm. So now we've got Evelyn, so 17 years old, Believes her friends and her believes her friends are her real family. Oh, that's quite nice. That's lovely. Um, and Chloe, who's sixteen, very tough debater, although a very fair one. Currently working out here, growing some lovely tomatoes. Right. Okay. If you could like you know, be really quick at growing tomatoes and put down some fertilizer or whatever you've got to do to make them grow very quickly, that would be amazing. Can we see how long it's going to take? Um, crops will grow here over time. Don't know how long it takes, though. I'm not entirely sure how long that's going to take. Do you know what? Could we have a whole big bit at the back of tomatoes? That would be amazing if we could make that happen. Um, although, I'm a bit concerned we haven't done this yet. Oh, hang on. The nice house requires six planks, not six bits of wood. Oh, I thought it was six bits of regular wood. But no, it's six planks. Oh, I completely misunderstood. Okay, followers are hungry. We've got four people in there. Yes, we have. Okay, what we can do is, we've got plenty of wood right now. So, don't have anybody working there. And can we have another person working over on the farm? A baby was born. We really do need that house complete. Please, <laughs> sort out this house. 20%, 28%, 32%, 36 Okay, it's taking shape. But again, those poor people are going to have to spend the night out in the wilderness, under the stars. I think tomorrow, that nice house will be done. And then people might be sort of happy about that. But until then, you might have to wait. Sorry. And then, yeah, there's quite a big kind of project going on there to get that field done. But that's going to take a while too. 
Um, three people are hungry. Somebody else has turned into an adult. Okay, what we could do is have somebody else working in the builder house because then they can move things around because it looks like as well the builders do sort of move goods around too. So I think, yeah, oh, there we go. Right, nice house is done. How nice is the nice house? We shall be the judge. Let's go and have a little look. Um, okay, they're quite pointy. They're quite pointy. Big pointy buildings, a little bit taller than the other ones. Uh, they look nice. Yeah, they do look like nice houses. I appreciate the flowers on the outside. And they've got kind of like a, a basket of flowers hanging off that bit there. I mean, you're asking for trouble there, really. You're asking for kind of a comedy moment where you come out of the house and it's a bit windy. And then you you pat your pockets to check you've got your keys or whatever. And then that's going to fall on your head. That, that's what you're asking for with hanging that over your front door. But there you go. Never mind. That's how the nice house is. And now they can work on that one just there. And that'll sort our housing out for a good long time. That'll be fine, I think. So as soon as we get that in, that's going to be good. How are we doing for tomatoes? They're very slowly, but very surely growing. They are getting there. How are we doing over here? There's not much to go on over there, is there? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, where else can we get some stuff? There's food over here, look. Could we? Could we get... Hang on a minute. Where is it? Forager hut. Yeah, look there. You're going to get loads of stuff if you build, say, just there. So yes, please build there. You've got berries and mushrooms over there as well. So I think that's going to be quite good. So yeah, if we could uh, get the uh, builder squad over there building a forager hut, when that one runs out, we can immediately move those people from there over to here. And we're not going to have a kind of gap where we're not gathering food at all. So yes, yeah, so if we could get that done... That would be quite nice. Yeah, can we prioritise that, please? Make that your yeah, big, important building job number one. Okay, now the child has grown into an adult. That's very good. Can we assign them to go and do some building, please? Because we have lots of things to build. And I think over here, that's just about running out of stuff. So, okay, what we'll do is nobody work in that one. We'll recycle that, please. And that gives us three people that are apparently unemployed. So over there, over there, over there loads of food available over there and possibly over here as well we do need to get another stockpile sorted so i mean do we put it we could put it there look a little stockpile there would not do any harm at all so okay there we go wonderful so right get time moving on can we please grow a tomato or two we are trying to sort the land out over there so we can grow into that land which is quite good i think you've got some seeds going on ah we've completed the nice house Okay, so housing is looking really good. Plenty of spare housing now. That's not going to be a problem anymore. So the big issue at the moment is, I would say, food. Food is the big problem right now. So if we could just get everybody working on food production, that would be amazing. I'd be really happy with that. Can we get another farmer? Can we do that? Get another farmer? Maybe drop one of the workers, uh, one of the builders, sorry, and then get us a farmer. Because then we might get food even quicker. And that's got to be a good thing. So I think what we do is, um, I think we go to here and we get some more tomato fields set up. In fact, you know what? Get as many tomato fields set up as we can possibly have. So yes, like that look. All of that surrounded with tomatoes. It should be a very tomato-y farm. Oh no, two people, four people died of hunger. Okay, right, this is bad. People are dying of starvation. Okay, I mean, maybe it's really bad we lost four people. That is not good at all. I'm very sorry, everybody. That doesn't help. However, maybe at the moment that might be the best thing that happened to us. Because, I mean, not to them, obviously, but to us as a settlement. Because possibly we might be able to now feed the people that we do have. A baby was born. Who have we got? Millie. Uh, Millie hates it when grown-ups kiss and they're going on adventure and now they're hiding from their mum. I think as soon as that farm's managed to harvest just one tomato, we can set up another farm over here and then we'll have two farms going on and that means we're a little bit less reliant on the whole foraging thing and more on the whole farming thing. And I think, hang on, hang on, we've got tomatoes. We've got tomato crops coming in. Okay, this is very exciting. Look everyone, we've got food. I mean, it's just tomatoes. You're going to have a very tomato-heavy diet. I mean, what can you make with it? Tomato soup? Tomato puree? Tomato ketchup? I mean, it's going to be very tomato. You can have a tomato salad, just literally a tomato. But that's good. Look at the amount of things we're going to get from there. Okay, so hopefully our food is going to go through the roof at this point because we have got the foragers as well. So they still have quite a lot of mushrooms there and some berries and stuff. So they're looking pretty good. Oh my goodness me. We've got so much food. Okay, right. We need to get another farm in over here. 
Now that's done, set up the farm over here, move people away from foraging into proper farming. That's got to be the way we go. Hang on a second. Um, two positions available. So maybe drop... We do want the builders in though, don't we? Hang on, hang on. Got plenty of plenty of wood right now. I know you've gone already, haven't you? Of course you have. Right, don't work in there for the moment. So take you out of there. We don't need any kind of uh, planks at the moment. At the moment, what we need is food. So um, yeah, let's get a farm set up over here, look. So if we just turn it around that way and say, yep, yeah, okay, put a farm just there. Yes, please, in the middle. And then we can go to here and say, right, okay, get us a huge tomato field set up just there. Just to start with on that side, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so the builders now have something to do because I imagine they've been bored for quite a long time. So get them over here working on that. And as soon as that's done, we're going to be good for food for a good long time because now these tomatoes are coming through and then it's going to be a lovely cycle of harvesting tomatoes and having a lovely constant supply of food coming in. So what do we need now? So right, in terms of goals, we've completed the happiness goal because we're on 95 and we need 90% happiness. We haven't got the right amount of people um, and we've not got three farms and we haven't got 50 tomatoes in stock. Although we're looking pretty good for tomato. So, okay, that's one more farm over there. Where can we put another farm? Where can we stick another farm? Possibly over here? Maybe over there somewhere? I don't know. We'll try and figure out where we can put another farm. Okay, so our third and final farm will require one more plank to be constructed. So, okay, let's put somebody back in there just temporarily. So, okay, maybe drop a, um, yeah, drop a builder and then get somebody working in the plankery just to make one plank. One single plank. Elliot, it is your job, 25 years old Elliot, who's cutting logs and whose favourite colour is Magic Hour, to make one single plank in the plankery. I think that will do. Okay, yep, that's fine. Don't need any more right now. That's okay. So we can, if we want to, go and build another farm. The thing is, yeah, where do we put another farm? Because that one is now going to be providing food for a good long time. Look, much in the way of tomato. It is a lovely, lovely tomato harvest. And some mushrooms as well. In fact, to be fair, you could make a, like a bit of a soup out of that. You could make a sort of tomato and mushroom soup. That'd be quite nice. But yeah, look, so these ones are now being harvested. Then those ones are going to be ready. Then these ones are going to be ready. Then they'll be ready. It's just kind of a wonderful cycle going on. Right, who's going to work over here? So Elliot is working in there. So maybe do we drop that down by two people? So two less foragers and then have two more people over into there, please. Because that's going to be wonderful. And then we just need more people. We need more people. I mean, yeah, those four people that died didn't really help our population numbers. So it might be a while until we get back up to that. How long have we got in terms of days? 26 days left to try to get to 20 followers. Okay, okay, that's fine. We might possibly not complete the optional goal, but I think we're going to be okay with the main goal. I think we can complete the main one fine. That's going to be good. Um, I mean, yeah, if we're happier, do people, do people come in? That's just about crops. That's fine. Yeah, if we're a happier settlement, do people sort of migrate in? Or does that encourage people to do stork letter writing if they're all well fed in a fancy house? Does that make children more likely? I do not know, but uh, yeah, we might not get that goal sorted because we are... Well, we eight people down. That's quite a lot of followers down, but we're going to get that one done. I'm fairly confident that we can get another farm in at some point in the next 26 days. Okay, so I've let time run on quite a bit. We're now on day 30, and in all that time that's passed by, we've only had one child born, which is not very good at all in terms of completing our optional goal just here, because we need 20 people, and at the moment, we've only got 13. So we've got 16 days left to get seven new people born into the settlement. And I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we have enough time to get people together so they can go and eat some tomatoes and do some stork letter writing activities. So I don't think we can get that complete, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to complete the optional goal as well as the main one. The main one we have in the bag. All we do is build that farm and it's sorted. 16 days left. Do you know what we'll do? Do you know what we'll do? Because I don't think it'll take too long to build the farm. We have all the stuff in. Just a quick check to make sure. Hang on a second. So a farm is three bits of wood and six planks. We've got that and that's fine. So we can get the farm done. What we could do is let's just run time on very, very quickly until we've got maybe, what, 10 days left? So run it on six days 
and just see if we can get our population up a tiny bit. Oh, hang on a minute. Two babies. Three babies have been born. Okay, hang on a minute. That's gone up considerably well. And we've not even moved on time that much since when I last spoke. Okay, right. So we're up to 16 people. Now we just need four people to be born in another 15 days. Okay, suddenly that seems quite achievable. I assume people got really, really excited about the tomato-based dinners they were having and got round to doing some stork letter writing. Okay, well done, everybody. Now, can we just have some more of that, please? Lots more stork letter writing. That would be wonderful. Oh, look at that. I didn't realise that was a thing in the game that we had to take care of. Your population is getting old. Elderly followers don't reproduce, so the time to grow in numbers is running out. Ah, okay, right. That's not very good at all. Oh, and look, yes, you can see that they are getting a little bit older. That one there. Who are you? So Lauren, 64 years old, the strictly social drinker, they've got a little kind of walking stick to help them about the place now. Okay, right. I didn't realise that was a thing. I didn't realise that the population would age to that degree. So when one day goes by, like how long is it? Oh, another baby. It's born. got 17. We need three more people. Three more people to be born into the settlement. However, that does also require people to stay alive. Like we just saw whoever it was. Like you there, Molly, 62 years old. Doesn't apologise for burping, it's human nature. Fair, yeah, I'm with you on that. But um, yeah, we need Molly and co. Molly and her, so you know, equally sort of uh, elderly but wise friends to try to stay alive if they could. Because of course, at some point, they might start passing away, which would bring the numbers back down again. So we need, what, another three people. Another three people. Come on, we've got, what, 12 days left. We're, I think we might be able to do it. With those, you know, those babies being born, the three on that one day, whatever it was, that's actually given the numbers a great big boost. So maybe, just maybe, fingers crossed, we could get this done and complete the optional goal. Another baby's been born. That gets us up to 18. Just two more. Come on, settlement. Come on. Another baby has been born on day 36. We need one more baby to be born. However... We are now in a little bit of a tricky place. There are 10 days left. I don't think it'll take 10 days to build the farm, but it's going to take a number of days to build the farm. I think possibly three or four, maybe, because it takes a while for them to move the stuff over to where the farm's going to be built. And then, of course, they have to then build the farm. And as we've seen, that does take quite a long time. They take quite a long time to put the buildings together. So we do have to build the farm at some point soon because we have to complete the main mission. So really, we need one more person to be born in the next, I would say, couple of days. So maybe by day 38. If somebody could be born by day 38, that would be completely wonderful and I'd be very happy. But you know what? It's not down to me. It's down to the villagers over here and their stork letter writing proclivities. So let's see what they can get up to. I mean, not see. I don't want to see what they get up to, but let's see the results of their efforts. And uh, hopefully, yes, we can get one child being born at some point in the next couple of days. Come on, folks. Oh, no, but that's not what we wanted to see. A follower died of old age. No. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. I suspect that's going to keep happening, isn't it? That is a thing that's going to keep happening. I don't know if we can counteract that enough with all the stock letter writing going on. So yeah, now we're back to needing two people again and we've got nine days left. I think maybe we just have to kind of admit defeat possibly. If we had those four people that starved, if they hadn't have starved and we'd looked after them better, then everything would be fine. We might be way past 20 people now, but um, no, I don't think we're going to be able to succeed. Also, that person that you were rocking out just then, Harold, how was having a lovely time. Big bodies of water make him nervous. Don't go over here then, Harold. Don't look over there. It's nothing. Um, yeah, I think we just have to get it done. Do you know what? Let's complete the main goal. I've dilly dallied around enough. Where are we going to put our new farm? I mean, over here could be quite good. Just there. Um, I mean, really... If it's just to complete the goal, we could just put it anywhere. We could put it anywhere. Oh, things are going wibbly. I think we're skipping through the uh, skipping through the night, aren't we? Um, yeah, I mean, we could put it over there. Look, it's a bit out in the middle of nowhere, though, isn't it? It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's just to complete the goal. So do you know what? We'll put it just there. That's okay. So yes, please, get us a farm just there. And then can we just have all of that there? Yes. And then all of that there as lovely tomato fields and it shall be glorious but there we go so maybe yeah we're not going to complete that goal come on two more children being born and then everyone else staying alive and then the farm being put together that would be fantabulous but i'm not entirely sure we can get there but do you know what they're on this pretty quick look they've got all the planks in there already 
nip over here to get some wood look um yeah they've got two bits of wood already another day is going to go by right i think all the resources are in and oh you've done three percent of the work required to actually get it done joe you know what well done that's okay that's better than nothing um so right there we go the next big thing then is getting that farm put together and there's uh was it gerald was it was it joe yeah there's gerald just you know, checking on how things are going, checking on the tomatoes. We've got quite a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, over here, oh no, hang on, that way. Over here, um, we've got, yeah, quite a lot of them now. There's a lot of tomatoes. So much so, I built another storage thing over here. So we've got like a sort of tomato road going along there. So if you don't want a tomato from here, if you don't like the look of those, you can come over here and pick one. Or one of those, or one of those. Right, there we go, there we go. So the main objective is complete so we've done that but we've not completed the optional so i mean is it worth hanging around i don't know continue playing do we continue playing until the very do you know what we're going to continue playing until either we meet that goal by just two more people being born or the population tumbles because of age and we can't get there so we'll just see what happens which is going to come first place your bets folks oh no somebody died of old age i think that's it i don't think we're going to get the required amount of people to complete that and never mind only three days i am very happy that we got that far we've completed the main mission struggled a bit early on with the food but now we're absolutely utterly fine for food as long as you like tomatoes if you don't like tomatoes you're in for a little bit of a bother because, you know, it's a predominantly tomato-based diet around here. But that's okay. What matters is that Gerald loves tomatoes. Oh, he loves them so much. Look at that. He can you know, go and have all of them. He can have many of them all the time. He can you know, build a new house out of them if he wants to. He can have a bath in them, which he might well do. I don't know. So plenty of tomatoes. I don't think we're going to get now another three people born, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, that's fine. We shall take this. We'll finish the level. Didn't quite get to the optional thing, but there you go. Gerald with your amazing hat and your wonderful cloak and your fancy stance yes we've given you lots of tomatoes hopefully you can enjoy them and have a lovely birthday because that was the whole point wasn't it it was his birthday there we go look they're all out there having a party there's are they like firefly things oh no they're those um the lantern things you do and sort of set them up into the sky um awesome says Gerald this is the best birthday ever the storm is moving to my brother's town though I hope he's okay Okay, so now I imagine next time we'd have a look at Gerald's brother's place and we'd have different goals. In fact, you know what, very quickly, what are the goals of the next place? We're not going to play the next bit, but I just want to see what we've got to do. So who is coming up next? Okay, yep, they do look a little bit like Gerald. Um, again, that's a again, very good hat. And a good cloak. And yeah, the stance must be hereditary because that's how Gerald stands. A terrible storm has left our town in ruins. Many houses, including mine, have been destroyed. I need to establish strict rules to ensure the town's survival. Okay, so the storm that we sort of had to avoid in the first bit of the level and then weren't so bothered about in the second part of the campaign um, has then caused problems in the third bit of the campaign over at Cookie Island. Survive 35 days, have 50 followers, have 40 stones in stock to repair the leader's house. Okay, there we go. So a quarry unlocked. So yeah, there you go. And then you go to the next level, get some more stuff unlocked. The story continues. Everything is a little bit broken. Um, yeah, people don't have homes. There's no food. People are unemployed. Happiness is quite low. It's quite bad here. And on that note, I think we're going to leave it for now. So there we go. That was Outlanders. And I really enjoy playing Outlanders. It's been a lot of fun to play. I like the fact that there is a story. As we said at the start of the video, there's a story tying everything together, which I do think helps make you kind of want to play the game a bit more because there's a reason to be playing. Like the first one, we had to build a new boat and get out of there because there was a big storm on the way. And that's okay. I like that. There's a goal with a reason behind what we're doing. Not just, you know, collect this many bits of wood because I told you too because i'm the game there's a reason the characters want to get off that island and carry on their journey and then on the second level we had to get a load of tomatoes because gerald wanted to have an exciting birthday party where he had an extraordinary large amount of tomatoes i mean that's fine what he wants to do with those tomatoes on his own time is up to him and that's okay none of my business but i like that there's a goal and you know the third level that we didn't do everything's been destroyed got to repair everything by the storm that was kind of referred to in the second level that we weren't bothered about and then we had to run away from in the first level so it all kind of ties together i like that and the challenges are quite good i like the level of difficulty with it and i do think it looks wonderful 
it does look really pretty. It does look like a Wind Waker town builder. I stand by what I said earlier. And yeah, if you don't know what Wind Waker is, go and have a little look online. Go and Google Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and you'll see that kind of art style in that game that looks a bit like this here. It does look like a kind of town builder for that game. But yeah, that's no bad thing because Wind Waker is wonderful and it looks fantastic. So overall, I've had a thoroughly lovely time playing Outlanders. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not a Ready, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs, want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down, we need rain, we need rain. What's going <laughs>